What's up guys, it's Stay Coming, and today we're going to be uh, starting a new series of mine that I'm going to call the Boston Hazard Crew. Now, uh, this is going to be basically a war cleanup a, a series where we go in, we look at the first attack on, on a base and see what went wrong, and then we're gonna do the cleanup attack that came after it. Now, I picked this attack because the cleanup was just so unbelievably dominant, and uh, it's with an attack strategy that my, myself personally, I am just starting to learn about and uh, you know hopefully start to use in 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 war. So, anyways, uh, he's bringing the Gobo Lalo. This is uh, golems, bowlers with the king and the queen. That's going to make up the kill squad, and then of course the back end being a Laloon. So, um, just to go over his plan real quick. Um, He's going to drop his golems over here, one on this archer tower and one on this cannon. And the idea is to funnel and break in right about here on this uh, gold mine. Next, he's going to put a jump. He chooses to put a jump right here on this uh, wall junction between the air defense and the wizard tower. Now, um, there's some strange behaviors of some wizards at the very beginning, and that is going to cause a large portion of his raid to get screwed up. Um, that being said, he still pulls, pulls out a 91%, so uh, you, you, you can see how getting a tweak on this attack um, would have, I mean, it really made all the difference, but really, the cleanup is amazing. Let's go ahead and watch. So, this golem comes down, goes on to the cannon. Wizard goes down to funnel on all sides, he drops second golem, drops another wizard down here on this gold mine. Um, basically just trying to make it so when he puts puts these bowlers in, they are going to walk and go straight into this uh, core compartment here. This is where, where all the value is. Golems start to redirect. Now, the wizards did not take out this archer tower, and because of that, this golem decides to run up here and beat on this wizard tower. So this was actually like a really big part of the attack that screwed up for him. Meanwhile, the king, the queen, and the bowlers have come in they take the first air, air defense. The king is getting pretty low. He pops the ability and is quickly dead. They get the second air, air defense, and the bowlers get a little bit more done, but not quite enough. The queen is not down. The enemy queen is going to be taken out with special ability. She's going to get the archer tower, and that's about it. So, guys, look over here. This is what I was talking about. Two unbroken golems beating on an air sweeper. So... If those golems had gone where he had wanted, this would have been a very different attack. So let's keep going here. So the Laloon is coming in. Uh, air defense goes down. But now he's got these naked loons and unfortunately they are targeted instead of the Hound by that wizard tower. That was a big, big, big trouble to him. And then, um, you know, closing in on this last air defense, he has no more Hounds. Uh, his, you know, his balloons are getting shot down one by one, and finally one of them gets it. But there's still that archer tower, and that's the last air targeting defense. One more loon goes down. I believe maybe two loons will go down here. Nope, that one barely survives. So, guys, he's got three balloons left, and he's got 34% of the base to cover. He's got some cleanup wizards uh, up top uh, he helping him out, but, you know, there's just too much base of uh, this base to cover, and just simply not enough time. So uh, let's go ahead and four exit. Um, nice try, Raptor. Uh, Raptor is new for us. I believe he's on his trial right now. And uh, his other attack was a three star. So we're very proud of him for that. Keep up the good work, man. Let's move on to the cleanup. So I believe it was Canadian going in. Now, this was such a crazy dominant attack. I wish I had recorded this live because my reaction as this was happening was just off the wall. Um, myself and Mr. L actually were able to sit uh, in voice chat and help him plan this attack and get this tweaked really nicely. Um, the main differences that, that you're gonna notice right away is that this archer tower is taken care of, which prevents the, uh, that golem from wandering up this way and getting trapped and basically being made useless. Also, um, my, it was my idea to move the jump up here so it was not straddling this wall here, but to just move it up so when the bowlers went in, they would go from the, uh, from, from the gold mine straight in here and then jump into here. Instead of leaving, uh, leaving this 
um, uh, available to be jumped by, by the bowlers, we didn't want them to do that. We wanted them to go into this compartment here and then jump straight into here, because that's where all of the value is. So let's get right to it. You'll be able to see how crazy this is. Also, notice uh, the skeleton spells that he has in his ar army composition. This is a really cool I idea that Canadian had uh, d during this plan, and it works out super nicely. Watch it. All right, Golem comes down. Wizard is to funnel with the queen. He decides to put the queen down early because he, he knows exactly where she's going to go. He's pretty confident. And that he's got... And see, he didn't even drop his second golem. He just puts this single wizard down there to take out that archer tower that was really clean, really efficient. These wizards are going to pick off this um, our archer tower there so that golem will redirect. He drops um, his bowlers in behind with a CC giant. His jump, look, they're all going into this compartment. This is what saves this. The poison is, is down, the heal spell is down, the rage will come down as soon as they get a little bit further, and the rage comes down right about now. And look what happens to this base. The bowlers get that, the bowlers get the queen, the bowlers get the expo. The skeleton spell on the air defense, boom, dead. The queen gets the other air defense. Guys, where are the air defenses? Where are they? He's got two hounds and no air, air, air defenses. This is this was just this disgusting how he tore the space apart. Meanwhile, he's still got ton, you know, all of his bowlers alive. All five bowlers survived this raid. That is really, really efficient protection of those bowlers. Guys, look at his army camps. He's got eight loons, three wizards, a hound, and a haste left. This was he swags 72 troop space. 72! I mean, for goodness sakes, bro, like, this was just an excellent plan. I'm really, really glad to be able to uh, help him out with this. I'm glad that Mr. L was also there. Look, here comes the balloon parade with the hound. The hound is gonna fly all the way to the top. And watch how it soaks up some, some traps here. You know, this is just hilarious. I thought this was so funny watching this attack. Gosh, man, Canadian smashing it. Anyways, guys, uh, this has been eight hazard crew video from the Boston Tea Party. Um, be looking for more cleanup style videos like this. And uh, you know guys, when you come across a base and you see that your clan mate has got a high percentage two star, sometimes you don't need to change the attack entirely. Just tweak placement of some spells, tweak the deployment of some troops, Maybe change some spell composition or some troop composition slightly, but you don't always need to completely reinvent the wheel for a cleanup attack. Anyways, I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that you've learned something from this video. Thanks a lot.